in a pan with a little bit of oil separately and we're going to leave it to one side. So I'm going to cut up two kind of two onions. I'm just going to chop it into quarters. We want them chunky the onions because what we're going to do with this is that we're going to add these uh, fried up bits in at the end and then just kind of stir it in. So it's a very different kind of curry this. It's actually almost like a sweet and sour curry. So you will see what I mean by the end of this. So just break up your onion quarters like that. You cut it into quarters. We just want it into chunks. Literally, we're just going to fry the bits like that. So I'm going to pop my onions in. Some sliced up ginger, that's about a um, five centimetre piece that's going in. Got two red chilies there that's going in. And I've got some slices of garlic. Once you've kind of like fried up some onions and, and your ginger and garlic, leave it to one side. Uh, and now we're going to make the spice paste. So for that, I'm going to use the old um, Hattie Mix again because it's just really handy. If not, you have to mush them all up some other way. <coughs> Excuse me. The chilies that I'm using are really strong, actually. Oh, you can always tell because when you cook them, you smell it. It kind of like burns your nose. Whew. So, right, in goes. I'm using two onions. That's going in there. I'm using some galangal again. Now, that is about an, another two centimetre piece. If you can't find galangal, just use ginger. That's going in. I've got five... <coughs> oh, excuse me, these chilies. Oh, I've got five red chilies. Now, if you don't like it that spicy, you can use less. So, you know, it depends on your taste. I've de seeded them because these ones are like fire. All right, so that's all gone in. I've got a teaspoon of mustard seeds, which you can't see probably. Um, but they've just soaked in some water for about five minutes. So I'm putting those in. So there we go. That's the mustard seeds going in there. And last bit, oh actually not last bit, two and a half teaspoons of turmeric going in, one, two and a half, okay, there we go, and some lemongrass, so two stalks of lemongrass with the outer, uh, outer skin peeled off first, so that's all going in, a little bit of oil, and whiz it all up. So I've just been chopping up my chicken. I've got a kilo of chicken thighs and drumsticks because I prefer my chicken on the bone. It kind of keeps it a bit juicier in the curry. I've also got some potatoes. I've got about two big potatoes here. I'm going to chop those into like quarters, not too small. Although they just all kind of wither away in the curry. Um, right, that's that. So all we need to do now basically is fry the spice paste up for about five minutes or so. Then we're going to add the chicken and potatoes and the other ingredients like sugar and vinegar. Uh -huh. and potatoes. Sprinkle of salt, some salt, and also a tablespoon of soy sauce. Soy sauce. Oh, can't get soy sauce. I've got some light brown sugar. I'm going to add one, two tablespoons, third of a cup of vinegar going in. And about two cups of water. As well. Or basically enough to kind of just cover it. And we're going to bring that to the boil and just leave that to cook. Okay, so this is what the curry should look like when once it's finished. This is about after half an hour of cooking. The kind of liquid has simmered all down, but there's still a bit of sauce in there, but it's quite thick. So once the chicken curry has finished cooking, I'm just going to put it here. The onions and garlic and ginger and chilies that you kind of fried up quickly earlier, I'm just going to add in right at the end. 
I'm going to give it a stir around and basically then it's ready to serve and that was it now seeing as there is this is quite a kind of like sweet and sour uh, Malaysian curry um, if you want it more sour you add a bit more vinegar if you want it sweeter you just add a little bit more sugar so you know play around with it and um, I hope you all enjoyed this Ooh, that is a big Malaysian curry and uh, it's very spicy and very garlicky and very gingery so I hope you all really enjoyed that and stay tuned for some more recipes coming soon. Bye!